Okay, we have another one we're going to solve with exponents. This one does not have equal bases, so once again, we're not allowed to use the equal basis property. We're going to use the same technique we just used in the previous example, where we're going to take either the log of both sides or ln. So I'm going to choose to use the natural log, and I'll put a natural log on uh, both sides. So we'll do natural log of 2 to the x plus 1 is going to equal natural log of 5 to the 1 minus 2x. So we're going to do natural log on both sides. By doing that, it allows us to take the, the whole entire exponent and bring each of these down in front of the log. So x plus 1 times ln2 is going to equal 1 minus 2x. All that's going to be times ln of 5. So now I brought the exponents down in front. What we have to do now is we have to distribute the ln2 into uh, the parentheses. When you do that, if we take this, we're going to multiply this by x and then we're going to multiply this by 1. Now when you multiply it by x, you're not allowed to take x and multiply inside and make that ln 2x. It's kind of the same thing if I have 2 times the square root of 3, I can't make that square root of 6. That doesn't work. I'm not allowed to take the 2 inside the square root. That's the same idea here. I'm not allowed to bring the x inside. So instead, you're going to have to leave it on the outside. It's going to be written like this, x ln 2 that's as far as you can go with that. We're not going to take the x inside. This is as far as we can go. Plus, then we have natural log of 2 on the end there. We're multiplying that by 1. Let's do the same thing with this one. ln 5 times 1, that's natural log of 5. If I have negative 2x times ln 5, again, I'm not allowed to take that inside. I have to just leave it written this way, minus 2x times ln 5. That's as far as you can go with simplifying there. What you want to do on this problem is you want to get all the x's on one side of the equation so that way you can factor out the x, divide, and get the answer. So we are going to do that on this one. I want to bring this term across the equal sign and bring it over here so I have all the x's on one side. x ln2 I have here. I'm going to move this over. That's plus 2x ln5. So this one got, came across the equal sign, became positive. The ln2, I'm going to bring that across the equal sign, and then it's going to become negative. So now I have ln5 minus ln2. Now I have all the x's on one side of the equation. What I need to do now is factor out an x because it's a common factor. And if I do that, I get natural log of 2 plus 2 natural log of 5. x comes on the outside there equals natural log of 5 minus natural log of 2. Because I factor that out, now I can divide both sides by, by what's after the x, and I get natural log of 5 minus natural log of 2, all that over natural log of 2 plus 2 ln 5. This would be the exact answer. If you wanted to put this into a calculator, you, you can certainly do so. Be careful when you're doing that, though. When you're putting it into a calculator, make sure you put parentheses around the entire top and the entire bottom when you're putting that into your calculator. The reason why is because if you don't put those parentheses, the calculator is going to divide the wrong thing. You want to make sure it knows to divide everything on top by everything on the bottom. So if you are going to do that approximation, put parentheses around it. But the exact answer, this would be perfectly fine. Once again, just a reminder, I could have actually done the whole entire problem with the log base 10 instead of ln. And that would just be the only difference down here. I'd have a log of all these. Instead of an LN, I just have LOG there instead.